of muddy over there. That's the reason why we're not doing the dedication there. And while the rest of the crew kind of gets in here. What is it that we're looking That's at? That's unit three. Oh, the new unit. The new unit oh. that's still being worked on. That's unit three. Unit three is that's out there. The unit, unit two is directly out here. It's a green. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I see that. Uh, where is the unit? Uh, what is it? The, the, is it that? Or it's that. Or it's that. 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 It's uh, how many of you remember the China Syndrome? <laughs> Anybody? Okay. <laughs> Only old people. Only old people. Hey, that's right. That's right. China, China Syndrome. What we've got here are three different, three different boards. You can see them. This board over here, that section over here, deals with pretty much everything in the switchyard. The transmission of electricity. And so the lines you see running, the lights that you see actually operate breakers. They're operated now by computers, by SCADA system, which is actually down at our dispatch system right now. So that really, don't, we don't have a whole lot on this. Next we have Pete Garcia. <laughs> he's been a control room operator. He's, been, he's a chief operator and been a control room operator for, he knows this place. When it burps, he knows. And he's been here forever. And Pete, Pete has come back out of retirement several times to help us. And his, his help is invaluable. In fact, Pete and I worked together. I was his outside guy for a while. And so anyway, uh, Pete and I go back a little bit. <laughs> What we have over here is our turbine system, and, and this basically controls everything that's it, essentially everything that's in this building is, is controlled here. Not completely, but just for ease sake. And this is the uh, boiler system, and that takes care of everything that goes out that way. And when there's an alarm, you can see there's all kinds of alarms. It'll sound like just like that, all right? And that's a test. That's what it works out. But if whatever it is, that will let you know what is going on and then the outside guy we have three guys on the ship from steam unit uh, Larry's the outside guy here he's a equipment tenant uh, Pete would be uh, the chief operator a control room operator today he, he was the one who was operating unit 2 and just shut it down uh, did you hear unit 2 by the way when he came in it was running how much how many megawatts was that 47. so it was making 47 million watts of power while you were sitting out there listening to Dan talk and you didn't even know it was on it's pretty astonishing anyway Pete's controlling it today. He's in control. And hopefully we're going to be able to open it up. It may not be ready. It takes an hour. I think it's already on. Oh, great. We'll, we'll get a chance to look at the jet engine. So this is the control room. This controls pretty much everything. Now, what was really interesting, where's the gentleman? Sir, what's your name? Uh, Thurman. Thurman. Oh, great. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, all this is needed to make a million watts of power. Or, you know, an hour. That's how it works. We've got two 50 megawatt units essentially out here. And here's what it takes to control that. It's this CPU and that CPU, and that's it. And three or four mouse, and that screen that's a, oh, I'm sorry, the little gray screen. The gray screen is our continuous emissions monitoring system. That monitors the, the NOx, the CO2, the O2 system. It's that little gray one there. Uh, and that's, that's it for unit two. Two CPUs on the control room, as opposed to all this. You guys do the math, especially you guys that are in computers. This is essential. I mean, now when Unit 2 or Unit 3 breaks, we used to be able to go out with a cheater, which is a big old piece of pipe with a clamp on the end, and a hammer and a chisel, and beat it into submission. Now, we can't. We have to call all y'all out there to come in, and it's plug the program in, run the program, run the diagnostics, you're done. And uh, $5,800 later, after 15 minutes, it, it runs like top. <laughs> and I have no idea. It's all magic to me. I can understand this stuff, but this stuff here is where the future is. It is within, without a doubt, power generation. It's, it's within the computers and in and computer diagnostic systems. So uh, that's how it works. Let's take a look out at the uh, turbine here. We'll go out and look at this. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. <laughs> We have a chance to go in the relay room. It's really astonishing to see what that does. 